Blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak, what you put in my heart to speak. I pray in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. I just want to remind everybody that uh, that I am starting a, a prayer hotline, and this will be a, a conference call. And now I have made it publicly known that uh, that this is a new prayer line, and so I beg people to, to bear with me with this. And I have uh, publicly stated that uh, this was from 7 to 8 p.m., from 7 until it ends, basically. Uh, standard uh, central time. And that um, this was starting this Friday. But uh, I was reminded that uh, we've already started a, uh, a prayer vigil and uh, you can see information for that uh, on my website at www.tonylam.org there's information there about the, uh, the prayer vigil and about this prayer hotline as well um, this coming Friday it'll start at 7 but after that and every subsequent Friday after after that uh, it'll be starting at, at 8 every Friday and if it's if it gets very popular then we'll probably probably adding on an extra an extra day and I want to give you that phone number and that phone number is 518-318-7813 now sometimes they'll ask for an excess code and that number is 520-6370 now if you or a family member if you need prayer call and, and we will be sure to pray for you I remind you that I was called I was called by God I didn't call myself a watchman I didn't name myself a watchman it was God that called me a watchman and I want to remind everybody that I am starting a or actually I'm reinstituting uh, a daily prayer vigil at uh, at 8, 8 p.m. and I know that everybody everybody can't pray every day at 8 p.m. but I'm asking for all those that can I know things come up things happen but if you're available and you have time then I'm asking everybody that that can that you stop what you're doing at 8 o'clock and just say a little prayer and uh, I want to remind everybody that somehow the Holy Spirit put this in my heart that just as the Titanic when that ship was sinking I want to remind you that they did not pray they did not pray for that ship not to sink and they did not pray for God to save their lives they prayed that God saved their souls and this ship is sinking. This ship is sinking by the head, just like the Titanic. We've already struck the iceberg. We're already headed down. We've got very little time left. So, the Holy Spirit asked me to do this this prayer hotline, and I and I prayed for confirmation. And I I actually literally got two confirmations. The one confirmation was when I closed out a window on my computer and this video of Brother Bob singing the anchor holes it just started playing all by itself things don't do that I mean you have to click on you have to click on the icon to open it up for it to play well I didn't do that it just started playing and that was my first that was my first that was my first confirmation and my second confirmation was when I I talked to sister Tracy and she was telling me that at one time she wanted to start start a prayer hotline and and that that just sort of reminded me confirmed that that was my second confirmation so the Holy Spirit is in this so if you're in need of prayer if you're being attacked and I, I want to give a, a praise report uh, little Maverick uh, 
he's back home and he he is doing better so all of our prayers have helped little maverick and i i beg you to keep praying for little maverick and prayers have, have helped mike and gail and i talked to them actually just a few minutes ago and uh and they're 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 starting to do a little better so we just keep need to keep praying for them and praying for donna and praying for tracy and uh because prayers help they help so much they help so much and i want to remind you that that a prayer that a prayer never expires never grows weak never goes out of date a prayer prayed 100 years ago 500 years ago a thousand years ago it's still a strong today this is the day it was prayed and all prayers go directly to the throne room of god and prayers they follow us to heaven they follow us to heaven and in heaven those prayers become blessings to us and we all need blessings right now the ship is going down so we need prayers and I'm and I'm not suggesting that anyone pray for the ship or the saving of the ship but we need to pray for the people we need to pray for the people those that are lost that they see that they recognize that their only salvation is Jesus Christ that there is no safety there is no salvation without Jesus Christ so we pray we pray that the lost come to that knowledge of the saving grace of Jesus Christ and also we want to pray for all those that are being attacked by Satan because these are the last days and Satan is running to and fro and he is attacking violently attacking violently all those so we keep all of you in our prayers and we love you so very much Amen